So let me know if you can see our screen. Please, if you can inform us in the uh, chat. Our screen is visible. Thank you. Uh, yes, Perfect. it is visible. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please, if you can, remain muted during the session. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them out in the chat. And during our presentation, uh, we will try to answer as much questions as we can. So in today's webinar, we will be covering uh, the following six uh, points. First, we will be talking about all the things that will be uh, remaining the same and are not changing with Microsoft. Uh, newcomers experience. Then we will be talking about how will NCE affect your current business. Uh, some important dates that you should note. Uh, NCE key changes, uh, NCE promotions, and how is BPS marketplace uh, changing with the NCE. So, so I'm sure you've all uh, heard about the NCE. If you don't know what it is, I'm sure you've heard of it before. So uh, Microsoft started their uh, transformation to the newcomers uh, journey back in the beginning of 2021 when they first introduced Azure plan. And then they continued with the rest of the uh, products that fall under CSP. So what's remaining the same? Uh, managing your legacy subscriptions will remain the same. So uh, you can still manage your existing subscriptions the same way you normally do. Uh, invoices are remaining the same. Uh, billing of the legacy subscriptions is remaining the same. Creating new customers is remaining the same. So you will be able to do it the same way you already do it. Uh, sending out relationship requests to existing customers is done the same way. Uh, managing your referrals and membership offers and incentives from Partner Center is remaining the same as well. Uh, purchasing and managing software subscriptions, perpetual software, uh, Azure plan and marketplace offers is done the same way. So how will the NCE affect your current business? We're going to talk about uh, a few things that weren't available in the legacy and now are available in the newcomers experience. And we're going to talk about what are the changes. So something that was available in the legacy now is no longer available in the newcomers experience. First off, uh, scheduling changes at subscription renewal. So previously uh, you had to, obviously in the legacy, you can do changes during the uh, term. Uh, you don't have to wait till the renewal date. You can upgrade licenses, you can change the count, you can do all that. Now with the NCE, you can, you can no longer do that. Uh, reason why Microsoft uh, added a feature that you can pre-schedule any changes that you would like uh, to be done on the renewal date, whether it is on monthly end term or annual end term. Uh, first uh, thing that wasn't available and now is available is the auto renewal. So this option can be enabled or disabled. The wrong weighted auto renewal. <laughs> we've all been waiting for this. Yes, sure. yes it is. Uh, we've been waiting for that. Or auto suspend, if you want to say. So your, your subscription, you can choose to not renew it automatically after one year. So you and disable it and enable it. Yes. Another uh, thing that you can pre-schedule is uh, increasing or decreasing the seat count. So for example, you currently have 100 licenses and on the renewal date you want to decrease this number, you can pre-schedule this change. So you can preset. So your mind, you can, you can rest at ease. So on the renewal date, the changes will be done. As well, you can change the term length. So for example, if it's on annual, you can pre-schedule it to be on monthly. Uh, you can as well uh, change the billing uh, option. So if you are paying it on monthly basis, you can pre-schedule it to uh, uh, change to annual as well. And this is a very interesting feature. And now that we, are talk we will talk about is the SKU conversion. So previously uh, you couldn't pre-schedule any upgrades. Uh, so if you are currently running on the business basic and you want to upgrade to standard, for example, or premium or any other enterprise uh, version license, you couldn't do that pre-scheduled. So now you can do it and you can do a full upgrade. And by full upgrade, I mean if you have 100 licenses, you can upgrade all the 100 licenses and partial upgrade. So you can choose the quantity that you want to upgrade if you don't want to upgrade the whole count. 
and uh, as well the seats will be automatically assigned so you don't have to do double the work so if you are currently on basic uh, upgraded to standard the seats will be automatically assigned so uh, another interesting feature that is now in nce is the suspend or resume subscriptions uh, now uh, throughout the presentation you will know that uh, you will no longer be able to stop the billing after 72 hours have passed. But what you can do is you can pause the subscription. So you can, for example, if a customer is not paying for some reason, and this happens for sure, uh, you uh, can pause their uh, licenses from functioning. So basically, <laughs> you will stop their work, uh, but you have to note that the billing will not stop. Even though you are pausing the subscriptions and the customer is no longer being able to access their emails, uh, you can, uh, the billing will continue. So uh, this is something to note. Um, another uh, interesting feature is that under legacy model, only annual commitment was there. Whether you are paying it on monthly basis or you are paying it on annual basis, only the monthly commitment uh, sorry, only the annual commitment was available. So uh, right now in the NCE, Microsoft introduced the monthly term subscriptions. OK, so uh, subscriptions are now available on monthly terms, but there is a catch that uh, you will be purchasing it at a premium price, so at an increased price, which Nicole will talk about uh, later in our uh, presentation. So month by monthly term, I'm just going to give an example. If let's say oh, today we have added an order on monthly uh, term, uh, the, it will be, uh, the renewal date will be March 10, March 2022. So the renewal date will be each month. It will no longer be next year. A provisioning add-ons, uh, in the legacy model, as you all know, you needed a base subscription as a prerequisite. Uh, to be able to add any add-ons, uh, and by add-ons we mean Defender, uh, uh, Exchange Online Protection. Uh, right now in the NCE, add-ons are available in the uh, base catalog, in the base SKUs catalog, and you can add it without uh, having a, a base subscription from the same source. And uh, last but not least, uh, subscription ownership enforcement. So what we mean by that, previously customers could buy from different partners and have several, several subscriptions on the same assembly offer. So as you know, the, uh, there are limits to the SMB offers, basic, standard, and premium, which you can only buy 300 licenses of each. Uh, what customers used to do is to go to a certain partner and another partner and buy 300 from this one and 300 from this one uh, to be able to uh, benefit fully from uh, the uh, reduced price of SMB. But right now, you are no longer uh, allowed to do that. Uh, so uh, this is what Microsoft is calling subscription ownership enforcement. So if I am a reseller and Nicole is a reseller, uh, we cannot have the same customer having uh, two subscriptions of Business Basic, for example, one from me and one from her. This is not is the, is no longer uh, uh, available. Um, the subscriptions are on the tenant level. And previously, what also customers used to do is to go and buy trials from several places just to have free licenses. Right now, you cannot do that. So if you have bought a trial once on this tenant, you will not no longer be able to buy another trial another time. OK, so that's it. Off to I you. Think. <laughs> the floor is yours. So here's some uh, important dates we want to note so you can track all the plan of NCE. So first, we will start in March 1st. The modern workplace, as you, I think you already know, I will share it in the next slide. There are like six items that are increasing. Uh, their MSRP price is increasing. So for example, I will give it uh, in the other slide, but just like a quick thing. The business basic, for example, its MSRP was $5 per month per user. Now it's $6 per month per user. So, and for the yearly pr price, you multiply it by 12. 
And then for the famous day, March 10, uh, you will no longer be able to place any new order uh, uh, on the legacy program or platform. You can only use the NCE for any new order. Okay, it's on March 10, uh, the due date. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, regarding the renewals, you can only you can always renew your uh, current customers or current licenses on the legacy program until July 1st. So starting July 1, all the renewals that you have will uh, automatically be renewed to NCE program and or it's the same program program we're working on, but uh, you will have some changes and features, new features uh, on it. It's still Office 365 and yeah. Office 365 as well. So it's the same pro program products you are selling, just with some changes. Okay, and for December 31st, um, you will no longer uh, get any rebates or incentives on all the customers or orders you're placing on legacy. This is why we urge you to renew all your licenses or all the, your orders with your customers automatically to NCE, not wait till December or end of uh, July to, to move them to uh, NCE. So always on each renewal, each new order, move to NCE to benefit from the incentives. Migrate as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. So what I was mentioning I'm in sorry, March Nicole. first. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Can we go back to previous slide sure. regarding July first? Um, even if the um, expiry date on CSP on BPS CSP portal is uh, let's say October twenty twenty two, the legacy will not be uh, the the legacy license will not be available till the expiry date. It will be okay, updated so till uh, to, to uh, NCE. No, so in your scenario, this is what I was saying. So each renewal in your scenario, your customer, you have a customer that will that has an end date or expiry date, October 10. Let's say. So on October 10, 2022, it will be renewed to NCE. But from now till then, it will stay on legacy. And then on okay. expiry date or on the end date, it will be moved to NCE. But what about July 1st? Yeah, so all the renewals, Yane, each customer that has an end date that is after July 1st, it will be renewed on NCE. But for example, if you has a, have a customer that has a, a renewal date in June, okay, so okay. You, it will be, you can renew it on their legacy. No need to move it to NCE, but we prefer NCE ah, okay. for that. But if the end date is everything after July, then it will automatically be renewed to NCA. Okay, okay. So there is okay. no uh, nothing related to the expiry date of the um, legacy license, but we have to move everything to NCE uh, on the expiry date in January. On the expiry date of the legacy license, yes. So the it's on the expiry date of the line, subscription line, if you want. Okay. So this, uh, I have also... A uh, couple of questions regarding the placing the orders. Uh, do you want me to ask yeah, them now if, or at the end of the presentation? If you want, just drop them in the chat box because we will be covering uh, more things uh, like in the couple of slides that are coming. So okay. if we didn't cover your questions, we can go through everything at the end in the Q&A. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. So uh, just to just to clarify one of the questions here. So basically, if if the customer, let's say, has a renewal in June, right, mm. and we renew it in June, <clears throat> but um, and it's under the legacy, for example, the expiration is not done. So yeah. this in December, we are saying that uh, the incentives will no longer be given, right? So exactly. for example, that six months window crosses. Um, what happens if it's still under legacy and because the order is on an annual commit? So we'll not get the uh, incentives then or will it be converted automatically to NCE? Okay, so for example, if you renewed your uh, customer on June to legacy, it, if it was monthly, Okay, the first six months or from June till December, you will get the monthly rebates, but after December, you won't get the rebates uh, or the incentives of this, these licenses of your customer. Okay. It's not monthly. Okay, but if you place an order yearly, 
uh, if you renewed it as yearly in uh, June, it's your incentives are a bulk, so you will get it. You already you, you are already paid. Yeah, you're already paid because it's before uh, December if you want. Did I answer okay. that question? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you. So back to the March price increase. So as I was mentioning, there's like six items, business basic, premium, E1, E3, E5. Uh, so these licenses are eligible or are subject as well to the NCE monthly price increase. So let me give you an example. The business basic, it's monthly MSRP price per user per month is $5 till today. OK, starting March, it will be six dollars per user per month. When I say MSRP, it's the online price of Microsoft. OK, six do five dollars per month. It's sixty dollars per year. Six dollars per month. You multiply it by 12 to get your yearly price. OK, this item, for example, in March 10, if you place a new monthly order for base, business basic, it will be uh, subject to the price increase as well. So it won't be six per month. It will be seven point something per month, but per year it will be six by 12 to get the yearly price. So as we said before, when you're going with monthly commitment, it is always at a premium price. I will mention it. I will go through the options of billing and provisioning of the NCE in the next slides. But this is only to mention that March increase on these six uh, items. So will be eligible to that to another price increase only on the monthly uh, term. If you add it as a yearly, there won't be a price increase. I will explain it in the next uh, options. So, OK, I just wanted to mention one more thing here that is important. If you already have an order now uh, on a monthly basis for business basic, but with an expiry date, uh, let's say in April. OK, so you will still pay five dollars until April. Then in April, when the renewal date comes, you will pay six dollars instead of five, your, the MSRP. If you, if you didn't migrate to NCE, yes, it will remain five dollars. But if you migrated to NCE, then so the, the famous uh, sentence you should keep in mind that everything is uh, the license is affected by everything new after its uh, its expiry date or its end date of the subscription. OK, so here we have three options if you want of the billing uh, and provisioning uh, licenses of NCE. First one is monthly commitment and monthly payment. And then the other two both are yearly commitment, but you either can pay per month or per year. Let me clarify it more. So first option, this option is the best if your customer is not sure of, a, of the quantities he wants to add. So if he wants to always decrease and increase the, his quantity, or for example, if he comes and tells you that he all, only needs the licenses for three months, and after that he wants to cancel his uh, subscription. So this is the best option for him. In terms of quantity, he can always increase on a prorated price. So if he decides to add any license in the middle of the month, it will be prorated in his invoice. OK, then he can decrease. But if he wants to decrease, for example, from five, quantity five till three, let's say, he can always do it, but at the end of his billing cycle. So if he placed his order on the 5th of January, he should wait till the 5th of February to decrease the licenses. But he can always increase on the go at the prorated price. Now, the most important change that is happening here, that if he chooses to pay on a monthly basis with a monthly commitment, 20%, around 20% of price increase will be affected. Uh, so these licenses will be affected by the 20% price increase. OK, so for example, uh, instead of six dollars per month for the business basic, or let's take an example as exchange online plan one, instead of four dollars per month per user, he will pay, he will pay four point around forty eight dollars uh, per user per month. Yes. All that price list will be shared with you. Uh, and there's always a catch with Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so uh, this is it for the monthly price increase. Noting that in the other options, if he chooses the yearly commitment, 
there won't be a price increase. So keep in mind that the price increase in the LCA is always only on the monthly commit. Now for the cancellation policy. So before we used to, to always um, pitch, if you want to say that you can stop the license whenever you want. If the customer comes and tells you, I don't want this license anymore after six months of his daily commitment, we will suspend it and you will get a credit note. It's never the case here in NCA, no more. So if we place the order today, you have 72 hours to cancel the order. OK, so for example, uh, if you cancel it the first day, you will get a full refund. Second day, you will pay for one day. Third day, you will pay for two days. OK, and then if in the monthly commitment, if you, uh, after three days of when, of when you place the order, you should wait till the next month so you can suspend your license again or, or cancel it. So for example, if we place the order today, you have till uh, February 13 to suspend your licenses and get the refunds. On February 14, you cannot do it anymore. You should wait till February 10 so you can cancel it and then you, you have three days to do it again. And then after three days, you should wait for the next month. This option is only available in the monthly commitment. So this is the advantage here on, of the monthly commitment. Why there's a price increase? Because you can cancel each month and you can decrease the quantity. So this is the advantage and why there's a price increase. OK, if we go to uh, the yearly commitment, but on a monthly payment. So if a customer comes and, tell, customer comes and tells you, uh, I can commit for one year, but I want to do a monthly payment. OK, so how this is his scenario. He can increase the quantity from five to ten, for example, but he can never decrease. He can never make the quantity three in, instead of five if he passes the three days, the 72 hours. So if he places the order today, he can cancel and he, he can decrease within the three days uh, from the date he placed the order. After that, he should wait a full year till his renewal date to cancel or to increase the, uh, decrease the quantity. OK, so no price uh, increase as already mentioned, same same as legacy. So for example, the MSRP of uh, exchange online will stay $48 okay, per user per year. But however, if he comes and tells you, I want to add a license uh, in the middle of the year, at the middle of the year, then it's prorated. So you will pay if he comes and tells you uh, after six months you want to add a license, he can do it and you will pay for that six remaining. OK, and he will pay on a monthly basis. The only difference between option three is that you will pay bulk, one invoice, one payment for the whole year, no uh, no monthly uh, invoices. And the only difference in the cancellation process between the yearly commitment and the monthly commitment, as mentioned, that after 72 hours, it's not allowed to do it in the yearly commitment. In the monthly, he can wait for the uh, second billing cycle, so next month. I hope it's clear. I will answer all your questions at the end. OK, so here I'm just like uh, a recap for what Krista mentioned before. Uh, when you will uh, go to your subscription on the portal that we will show at the end, you will have two options, either to suspend or cancel. What's the difference between suspend or cancel? Before we only had one uh, click, it option. was suspend. Yeah, one option. So here it's suspend or cancel. When you suspend, it's that you're pausing the license of the customer. He cannot use it anymore just because, for example, he's not paying um, for some reason. OK, so then you pause it, but you're still paying for it. So you won't get a refund, credit note or anything. This will not affect the billing. Exactly. So if you cancel it within the three days, you will get a refund. So cancel is that you want to stop the billing within the uh, 72 hours. And a credit note will appear not same day on your second invoice at the end of the month. OK, so. This is basically it for the pricing. Now we have the promotions. So in order to encourage you to place NCE orders, Microsoft uh, introduced two promotions, if you want, for the monthly offer and the yearly offer. So 
from now, from today, or from last month, January, it was effective, effective till June 2022. If you place any new monthly order of NCE, you will uh, be billed for the same monthly price of the legacy. So 16.7 or around 20% of the increase won't be affected on your licenses. So for example, instead of paying the $4.48 of exchange online plan one, you pay the $4. So you will pay the same legacy monthly price. OK, when they say to match the legacy annual, they mean, for example, $48 divided by 12. You will get the monthly legacy price. So okay. just to encourage the customers to adopt the NCE and to make it as smooth as possible, uh, Microsoft did these promotions uh, for a short period of time, basically. Exactly. And the second one, which is really interesting, if you have a new yearly order you want to place, from now till end of February, so this month, if you, you still have one month on you, you can benefit from 5% discount on the whole order. So discount from the, the your MSRP or your yearly price of the legacy. So you have 5% in the pocket <laughs> if you place your yearly orders this month. From January, it was effective till uh, begin, end of Feb, so beginning of March. So March not included. Again, migrate to NCE. <laughs> okay, so now Krista will give you a, like an overview of how to use our BPS marketplace uh, and placing NCE orders. So uh, definitely we have to cope with all the changes that Microsoft is doing, and this will be definitely reflected on our marketplace. Um, this change will uh, start starting March, uh, whenever the uh, mandate is is there or the due date is there uh, so first uh, you can migrate a legacy subscription to NCE just just with one click as you can see um, you choose the subscription that is currently running on legacy and you just click migrate to newcomers experience and it will migrate uh, whenever migrating you will be able to choose the term definitely so if it's currently on monthly you will be able to choose if you want to keep it on monthly commitment uh, or move it to annual commitment. And if it's currently on annual uh, uh, commitment, you can uh, as well uh, choose to change that. Uh, you can as well, uh, as we talked about, the scheduling, the renewals uh, option is there. So you can turn, uh, you can disable or enable the uh, option of renewing uh, or uh, suspending the subscription as well you can do it from our portal so for example this is a business basic uh, NCE license uh, that is currently active uh, and uh, by default the auto renewal is turned on okay so it is enabled so you have to make sure if you don't want it to be auto renewed on the renewal day you have to make sure to disable this option so uh, from uh, our marketplace you can either tick this button or untick it and then submit to uh, enable or disable the auto renewal option uh, the nce catalog is already synced on our uh, marketplace i'm sure uh, some of you have noticed it uh, currently uh, legacy and uh, NCE subscriptions are available in the same catalog. Starting March, you'll only be seeing NCE for uh, new subscriptions. I think this is it. Still um, have one more. Yes, and uh, uh, there is one thing that uh, you you have to note that you don't have to migrate your uh, customer fully to NCE. You can choose to add new licenses for him on NCE and remain uh, or keep the legacy subscriptions active. To renew on the renewal. To renew on the renewal day. So, uh, so uh, NCE subscriptions and legacy subscriptions can uh, coexist. And how you differentiate between both is uh, on our uh, on our portal, it, uh, there is a tag newcomers experience to differentiate uh, between both. Okay, I'm sure you all have many questions. Uh, let us take Let's a look check at the uh, chat. Okay, there's a lot here, so let me see. 
Okay, so starting with Abdel Rahman. Example customer has Microsoft 365 Business Standard trial and added Microsoft 365 Business Standard not trial. Not it's showing 52. The trial 25 will be cancelled after 30 days or renewed. So one more thing, important thing in the NCE that the trial will be auto renewed, right? Exactly. So if you added a NCE trial, it will be automatically moved to live subscription uh, unless you turn uh, or you disable the auto renewal. So auto, uh, by default, it will be uh, auto renewed and moved directly to uh, to live uh, to a live subscription to a paid subscription, and uh, the the seats will be automatically assigned. If that as trial, well. if that trial was added, newcomers experience. If you have an old trial, it won't be auto renewed. But if the uh, trial was added, newcomers experience uh, it will. Next, uh, Abdul Rahman, did we answer your question, or is everything clear? I assume yes. Maybe. <laughs> okay. What about prorated licenses, which is loaded in May? Uh, can you please uh, clarify, clarify the question? Uh, Dash, please. What do you mean by uh, prorated uh, license, which is loaded in May? So you mean if you increase the count or uh, feel free to unmute yourself, please, and ask your yeah. question or if you want to put it on the Uh, Abdul Rahman, yes, we can cancel the trial, uh, not uh, not during the month. You can schedule it to auto suspend after 30 days, auto expire. Yeah. OK, so Nitesh, we'll put your question on hold. On hold. <laughs> it's not that clear. So Hulud, under NCE subscription, we can decrease the quantity of the annual license, but can we increase? Is the quantity? Yes, of course. So monthly commitment or yearly commitment, you can increase the quantity, but you cannot decrease it in the yearly commitment. Is it clear? Yes, the PowerPoint will be shared so. as well as the, uh, the recording. PowerPoint recording will be shared. Khulud again. And if we increase the quantity, will we pay for the remaining period? Yes. So it's prorated. So if you add it after six months, you will pay only for six months. As mentioned, uh, so we will have one expiry date or different expiry dates. You will have one expiry date in the yearly. You can add it to the same expiry date. Please share webinar. We will. Hope it was interesting. <laughs> so, Basili, what if the customer decided to upgrade in the middle of the year? This is what we just explained. If you he wants to upgrade a license, so from business basic to business standard, he cannot upgrade the same subscription. He should add a new subscription, and obviously he cannot cancel the old one. So it's better for him to wait till the end of the year, or maybe he can add some add-ons that can. Uh, help him make the business basic same features as business standard. You can always schedule the upgrades. You know that uh, feature. Okay, so is there a multi-year offer for modern work placed under NTE just like few Dynamics excuse? It's only for one year or one month. For Dynamics, it's still for uh, 36 months, three years, but for um, the, for example, business standard, business basics, it's for one year and one month only. So the multi-year billing is only for Dynamics and certain SKUs. Yeah. Um, I think someone raised their hand, Amin. Amin, was it you? <laughs> we missed the hand. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I just posted it in the, in the chat. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, so the question no was, there's no price. Yeah, yeah. So there's no yeah. price increase for the EMS and the Windows 10 subscription SKUs, right? Uh, no, but if you are committing on monthly basis, then the prices are always at a premium price. So on the on a monthly basis, all the prices increase. Yeah, yeah, that I on understand. So so basically, so basically, whatever yeah, was the old. Sorry, go ahead. I meant so EMS and Windows 10 are not among the six licenses that will uh, that it's MSR 
CSP will increase on a yearly commitment as well as a monthly commitment. Okay, and there's no CSP or NC difference in these licenses, or the or the order for these will also be placed under the NCE, or NCE will only be affected under the six that you've actually mentioned. No, no, NCE is a change of all the program itself. So all okay. that I so any new licenses are, under these will also be placed under NCE. Yes, exactly, correct. Starting okay. March. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I see the we replied Hulud. If we added a new plan on the same tenant, will this plan has the same expiry date as the first plan? No. So it's the same as the legacy CSP. If you added business basic yesterday, it will have an expiry date to 9 2022. If we add another business standard today, it will be 2 10 2022. Yes. So unless you are placing the order it, it itself on the same day. So for example, we are adding basic and standard and ATP, for example, today. So it will all have the same expiry date. Okay. Can uh, go with this one. Hi there. A uh, question is after one, one year NCE license, is there any other increments you will change on us to renew it? After the NCE changes, you mean? Uh, so after one year of the end, if you place a yearly order now on the NCE, after one year for the moment, as Microsoft didn't uh, announce anything new, it will say same rules, same uh, requirements as for now. I hope you answered your questions. Kasi. If not, please uh, feel free to unmute yourself. Clarify. Uh, the migration to NCE is done automatically after the expiry date, or we need to do it uh, manually. OK, so after July uh, 1st, which is the end date of renewing your existing subscriptions to uh, um, to NCE or migrating your existing uh, renewing, sorry, July 1st is the end date of renewing your legacy subscriptions on legacy. Mm -hmm. uh, it will not be automatically up updated. We don't know uh, yet from Microsoft how will they uh, uh, react, um, but they mentioned to make sure to migrate in order to uh, um, not affect the licenses functionality. So it will not be automatically upgraded, after but it might stop. Yeah, so after July 1st, if you have a renewal, a yearly renewal that you didn't suspend, so you want it to, to be auto renewed, it will, it will be automatically renewed to uh, NCE, but not upgraded. If yes. you mentioned an upgrade, but yes, I think so. Eddie, if you can unmute yourself, if your question is that after July, if you have a renewal, it will automatically be renewed uh, to NCE after July, but it will not be automatically upgraded. Exactly. I have a question uh, on, on this comment. If uh, if you are saying that it will be automatically renewed, uh, then for example, if we have uh, 600 seats of business basic, for example, like uh, we bought, we have we had two subscriptions from BPS, let's say of business basic. Uh, we have 600 seats and now you're saying under NCE we will not be able to add more than 300 seats. So um, uh, the, the, the renewal date is after July. So how it will work? Will uh, 600 seats be automatically renewed under NCE or only 300 seats will be renewed and for the remaining 300 seats we'll have to do something else or how, it, how will it work? Um, for that it is a somehow gray area with Microsoft. We we. we they they don't have a specific answer for this case yet, so we have to uh, just uh, maybe open a case and check with them. Just drop us the question by mail please. if you want, please. Okay, so where were we? Is there a in legacy? We get an option to add two business plan subscription. This way, we can add six hundred seats of any subscription plan. Is it the same? So this is the same question. So um, yeah. Yeah. so, so we need. To, we need to check it. As I told you, it is a gray area with Microsoft. Is there a way to modify the billing cycle for a customer without manually switching to monthly, then back to yearly? So in the middle of the term, you cannot modify the billing cycle. Um, we are talking NCE, right? Uh, yeah, Patrick. 
So uh, is there a way to modify the billing uh, uh, cycle? Yes, you can pre-schedule it, as we mentioned before. So this is a new option that Microsoft has introduced. So you can pre-schedule any change that you want to do, but make sure to, uh, to note that it only will happen on the uh, renewal date. So if it's on monthly term, it will happen next month. If it's on annual term, if it will happen next year. But during the period, you cannot uh, perform uh, billing uh, term changes. Shiju, uh, if we have already a customer with monthly subscription MSP licenses, do we need to change them to yearly subscription with MSP licenses before July 1st to get legacy renewal option? Um, so if they are already currently on monthly uh, payment, what do you mean by, uh, are you precising the type of the license? Can you please clarify a little bit the question? Yeah, Krista, actually uh, there are some customer who is having a monthly uh, subscription, like a monthly uh, billing. So uh, maybe their uh, renewal is uh, coming uh, before July, but it is monthly still. So if if we want to renew them uh, before July to one year with the legacy option, uh, do we need to change them to any yearly plan? Uh, yes, but we encourage you to move them to NCE just to keep your rebates and mm -hmm. uh, and all that because you know that in December the that you will no longer have uh, your uh, rebates of for the customers that are currently run still running on uh, legacy. Okay, so what yes, if, if, if in case uh, the renewal is the exact renewal is August, for example, uh, but they are uh, paying uh, monthly billing. So what we will do if they are they need to get the same five dollar plan uh, until the August. Okay, so if if the renewal is August 2022, you can no longer renew it again for another year. So you ha you will have to consider this as the end date to move uh, to NCE. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so yeah. any subscription that have an end date before July 2022, you can still renew it for one year. But if you reach July 2022, this is the uh, end date of renewing your existing subscriptions for another year. So if it's if, if you know if in your case the renewal is August, you cannot uh, you cannot renew it again to uh, legacy. You have to move it to NCE. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have Moath. I think I think that raised his hand. Uh, yes, please go ahead. Go ahead if you want to unmute yourself. Uh, yes, thank you for this webinar. Thank you for explaining everything. Uh, just I have uh, one question for if we have a legacy, for example, it will be expire in uh, April. Uh, if we migrate it to NCE, what, what's the impact for billing? So there is any impact during this, uh, we have uh, two or three months uh, to to the billing date. So if there is any impact for billing or it's all, all of this? Uh, Before you reach April, you mean? Yes. So from today till April, no impact will be. You can still manage it as a legacy subscription, but on April you have to um, uh, migrated to NCE, then the changes will. Uh, OK, if we have migrated now for uh, NCE, there is any impact for the billing or it will be the same? If you don't migrate to NCE. No, no, if I migrated for, uh, for example, this week, uh, this day is okay. uh, migrated to NCE. Yes. So what's the billing impacting until the April? Or if there is any impact or nothing will be in fact for the client or even for billing? OK, so if you are migrating before you reach April, like today you decide to migrate this customer to NCE, then the, all the NCE terms will apply. So yes, the changes of uh, NCE will apply if today you decide to migrate. So anytime, even if you don't reach the renewal date yet and you decide to migrate to NCE, the NCE terms uh, will apply. Uh, just a small note here, since uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of crowds, uh, please do uh, add us on LinkedIn because uh, we will be posting uh, the webinar recording there. And as I told you in the beginning of the session, this is a uh, part of a webinar series. So to uh, stay updated on all uh, our uh, 
dates and news. So we will continue the questions, but in the meantime, feel free to add us on LinkedIn. It's BPS. Okay, and I will share like my screen for the rest of the social media accounts. So uh, we have Sammy. Yes, uh, sure. But uh, Moaz, did we uh, did we answer your question? Oh. Or or is it still not clear? Yes, yes. Thank you. OK, great. Uh, Sammy, so just to clarify, business standard will not be impacted with price increase even after uh, March monthly. If you migrate accounts to NCE, it will keep the same expiry. OK, um, so business, all the licenses, not only business standard, not uh, not related to these six SKUs that will uh, uh, that their, their price is changing. Whenever you go with the monthly commitment option, it will be at a premium price and premium price is an increased price. So even if you are picking Dynamics 365 license, Power BI license, not related to these six SKUs and you decide to commit on monthly, it will always be at a premium price. So if you want to submit yeah. All the subscriptions, all the licenses, or the items are uh, subject to a price increase if you place it on a monthly commitment, monthly payment with the NCE. However, the six licenses that I mentioned uh, that have, are eligible for a price increase in March, their yearly price as well would increase, will increase, yes. not only their monthly. So this is the main difference between these six licenses and the rest. Did we, I hope we answered your question, Sammy. So, yes. uh, another one. If you migrate accounts to NCE. to NCE, will it keep the same expiry date? No. Uh, but if you are, obviously, if you are updating it on the, its expiry date, then it will renew. So let's say today is its expiry date and today you are migrating it, then yes, uh, it will. But if you are migrating it, uh, uh, if you have a subscription that is renewing in March and you are migrating it, today, then it today is considered the start uh, and next Feb is considered the end uh, date. Shahrukh, so you got it right. His question was a question to clarify pricing for monthly yearly. The MSRP for business basic is going up from $5 to $6 per user per month. And if it's a monthly commitment on the NCE, does it go to, uh, to 7.2 USD? Yes, around 7.2. So it has another increase exactly this is uh, what we wanted to tell you uh, no it will not stay six it will be 7.2 on a monthly basis but if you place it on a yearly commitment it will be six by 12. this is it i hope it's clear Shahrukh. but really thank you Mithesh. is there a possibility to have a subscription business standard 250 uh, 200 annual and 50 monthly uh, yes there is a possibility to do that. You can mix and match billing terms and you can until March. So during this period from today till March, you can mix and match legacy plus uh, plus NCE. Shahrukh, just to clarify, let's assume we renewed a customer on the 5th of February and its new date for renewal is 5th February 2023 under the legacy CSP at the moment. What should be the action item on us as a partner on after July 1st? So on February 2023, your license will uh, be renewed as NCE or your customer's licenses will be renewed as NCE. This is, yeah, and there's no action to be taken after July 1st. So July 1st is only uh, a date after it, renewals should be uh, renewed as NCE. Before July 1st, you can always renew uh, the, the licenses as legacy. Should we just let it continue? Yes, you just let it continue under the same umbrella. Yeah, you can let it if, uh, but as said, if it's monthly uh, after December, you won't be uh, able to get any incentives on it. This is the only impact if you keep it legacy. So move it to NCE. <laughs> Okay, Amjad, if I placed an annual commitment monthly payment order today, it will keep at the legacy, but will renew at NCE. But during this year, we could decrease the number of users. I mean, I will still be able to refund. Uh, till uh, March, thank you Amjad for this question. Till March 10, uh, you 
can still place orders on legacy. OK, and uh, all, normal, all the normal terms that you already know will still apply. OK, so to answer your question, yes, if you place an order today until March 10, uh, uh, it will be uh, it, uh, the same terms will apply. The same legacy terms will apply. And yes, if you cancel during uh, this period, you will still get a refund. Uh, but we urge you to place it on um, on NCE because uh, you will not, you no longer get your rebates uh, starting December, after December. So I, I think these are all the questions. If you have any questions or clarifications, feel free to unmute yourself. And we didn't see any uh, new uh, ads on LinkedIn. So guys, these are the our uh, social media accounts, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep us up to, to keep you guys up to date with everything happening in NCE, Microsoft, and in all the business programs that we offer. And uh, to stay in touch, of course, with all the other webinars we have. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, our next webinar is March 3rd with a fresher and some uh, news. Uh, and new announcements as well. So uh, you in March, the agenda will be shared and uh, uh, and the invite will be shared. Uh, let me just check if we have any more questions. Can you share this webinar? Yes, we will. Is it a new question of Farouk? Uh, let me check. Uh, yes, Farouk. So for a customer who has few months left on his annual subscription, do we move them to NCE now or wait till the expiry? Uh, if we move them now, do we have to pay again? Uh, sorry, I lost the question. You have new questions coming. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, do we have to pay again for the billing uh, or the billing will start from the date of the expiry? Uh, OK, if they have a few months left on their annual subscription, uh, you don't have to move them now to NCE. You can always move them. Of course, you have this option, uh, but you have already paid for it. So the best option would be to wait till the expiry date and then move them to NCE. And if we move them now, do we have to pay again for them? Yes, yes. So if you move them now, uh, you will have to pay again. So uh, it will not uh, continue the same billing uh, cycle. OK, if you want to have the left man, share the screenshot. Monthly business basic, OK. Abdel Rahman, do you have a question regarding the screenshot that you can help you with? Yeah, so for example, the customer uh, business basic is going to expire on, let's say, 23rd of let's say, upcoming month 8. And if he's uh, moving from basic to standard, how much he need to pay more? For example, the he'll get the rebate for the basic. Uh, I I prefer we take this as a one on one, uh, Abdul Rahman. So can you please share this question by email, and we can answer it separately because yep, it's sure. a little bit more sure. If you have a month, Anna. So if you have a monthly customer with business basic license and legacy subscription and have an expiry date on April 2022. Will we be built on a new MSRP for the months of March or will we which OK, so you should always keep in mind that as long as you're within your yearly commitment, so before the expiry date of your license, nothing will change after the expiry date of your license. So in this case, after expiry date of April, uh, you have two options. Either you move it, you stay on legacy and no price increase. If you, if it's a monthly, yeah, it's a monthly. So if it's a monthly, if you renew it as legacy, no price increase. If you decide to move it to NCE monthly basis, there's a price increase, of course, uh, that monthly around 20%. Uh, is it clear? Okay. Any more questions here? I think we have one more. Anas, was it clear? Um, 
So he replied to it. Okay. So yes, Abdurrahman, please uh, share your question by email to us. So I think it's a wrap. Anyone has any question? You still have some time on us if you want. Is everything clear? Hope we helped. <laughs> Please uh, do share your questions if you or if you have any scenario you want to inquire about, share it with us uh, by email and we can always have a one on one session. You're welcome, Thank you. everyone. Welcome. Have a nice Farooq day. And follow the NCE news. They I want to see follow each it. and every one of you on LinkedIn. <laughs> yes. So you have all the news, all the questions. We are happy to help. Where you will share this? Uh, we will share it to you by email because whenever you registered, uh, you mentioned your email. If you didn't, please uh, put it in the chat so we make sure to send it to you. We'll as well share all the info that we.